So, Benny, are we seriously gonna do this? Well, since Mr. Andrew has told us to do this, we have no choice but to, so uh, let's just get this quick. I got a job to do. <sighs> Fine. Let's just get this over with. Hello people, I am Wallace, the so-called P2 Tender Engine, mainly I was created by Sir Nigel Grizzly. Well, do the people think that P2 shouldn't exist because of modernization and P2 sucks? Yes, yes indeed, I know that. And you should might know that I am the only one who survived and of course we have another engine who can join us into this introduction video which is Benny the LMS Duchess Black Engine Hi guys, I am Benny one of the LMS Duchess engines which of course I came from the LMS okay you can shut your voice now Benny I will do the rest of the talking so this is our home, the Roseworth Valley Railway. Roseworth Valley Railway has lots of beautiful views along the line. Our line runs from Lowfell Station between Malfram Station. Our railway has four different passenger services and three kinds of freight services. For passenger services, we have express, non-stop commuter, stopping services, and a limited express called the Roseware Flyer. For freight services, we have normal goods and coal trains. We also have a mixed train, but we really use that train on services. Oh, and I almost forgot about the mail train that runs only in midnight. Most of our passenger trains will stop at Armandale Station and Sandsworth Station. Armandale Station has a town nearby with a lot of people always commuting by using our railway, so our normal express services will be stopping there. Sandsworth Station has a town nearby as well, and it has a beach and a dock for freight purposes. When on weekends, the beach are crowded with lots of people, and now the beach is a great place for people to spend their holidays, so most of our passenger trains have to stop there. Well, for non-stop commuter trains, the service has to stop less station than the stopping or local passenger trains. One of the extra stations that the non-stop commuter train has to stop is Roswell Station. Yes, yes I know that. People might be thinking, why isn't Roswell Station the start of our line? Well, Roswell Station was our end of the line before. Well, actually before I even came to this railway, Roswell Station is our end of our line, and it has engine sheds, a yard, and a track that connects to the coal mine. Originally, our railway only runs between Lowfell Station and of course, Roswell Station. But due to the Sandsworth expansion and further on the line, most of Roswell Station's engine shed and yard are removed, but it still had kept a little yard or shed near the original engine shed's turntable. 
Even though Rolls Royce Station do have a lot of people living there, but due to express services had a stop in Sandsworth, and express trains can't stop two stations in a row, so Rolls Royce Station was removed from our express stops. But no worries, our non-stop commuter and local trains will be stopping there. Also, I want to say something about the limited express service. Our limited express service, aka the Roaster Flyer, only runs on Saturday and Sunday. The train only runs between Lowfell Station and Malham Station. In some special occasions, like when on Christmas and public school long holidays, aka between July and the end of August, we would rather put our limited express on surface or put our limited express coaches, aka the Mark II coaches, on normal express services as extra stock. Now before I end the station and the surface bit, I just wanted to say something extra before I go into our names. And this time, I will let Benny do the talking. Oh thank you Wallace, but what am I gonna talk about this railway? Remember the unused station? Oh, that one! Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay Wallace, I won't disappoint Mr. Andrew and you. Here I go. There is a station called High Crack Station. <laughs> oh my god, get it? High Cracks? <laughs> oh, that, ne that joke never gets old. <laughs> Anyways, well High Crack Station was... Uh, well, of course, it's abandoned or unused, you can say. It's not because we don't have enough money to maintain or to even restore the station, it's because due to the lack of passengers that was using the station. From the old days, this station was usually ran by non-stop commuter and local trains. The station was working smoothly and still in good shape. But until the bigger engine started to replace the old ones, High Crack Station was only ran by the local trains and each month, passengers started to stop using that station because of the facility in the station is too old, easy to be broken and starting to rust. Even though we had been keep trying to restore the station, the station's facility just kept getting broken up and also starting to rust even faster. Also, there is a little town not so far from the station. The people said that they always had a hard time to get to the station on time to catch their trains, and had to wait for another one for almost an hour. At that time, only a few engines are available for service. Little others are working in the Sandsworth extension, so trains are really hard to catch. So our controller decided to close down the station and get buses to replace the surface instead. After the last train heading back to Lowfell, High Crack Station was declared closure until that day. Right now, all services just went straight past the abandoned station. I mean, some service got less travel time, but the people who lived in High Cracks can take a bus to our nearest station, apart from High Crack Station, of course. And more details about High Crack Station will be in our future episodes. Just to let you guys know. Okay, it's back to you now, Wallace. Um, Wallace? Oh, come on, not again! Wallace! Oh, 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 um, Benny, is it my turn now? Yes, it is, Wallace. Now stop sleeping and let's continue if you don't mind. Uh, Alright, I will start talking. Now, it's time to finally introduce the engines that is on this railway. 
This is gonna be mouthful. Here we go. Now, of course, I, Wallace, the NLER P2 engine, I usually pull the Express and sometimes pull the Rosewood Flyer. And Benny, the LMS462 Duchess class engine. He mainly pulls the non-stop commuter trains and he sometimes pulls the Express and also pulls normal freight trains. Apart from us, there should be more engines out there who is working right now. Next up, we have Eddie, the SCCR or SR aka Southern Railways N-Class engine. Eddie was actually one of the big engines to replace the old ones and was really useful back in the day. Now he mainly pulls local trains, sometimes pulls small goods trains and sometimes help out engines that was broken down. Next, we have two mainline tank engines and they are Brian and Ivan. Brian is a LNER L1 class engine. All I can say is that he is a working hard one. He usually do his work the best he can. He mainly pulls local, non-stop commuter, normal goods trains, and sometimes pull the mail train. Then we have Ivan, the Ivan 2MT class engine. He and Brian are good friends, or should I say, they are brothers. What I meant was they are really friends like brothers. Anyways, he does his work really great and mostly never late. He mainly pulls local trains, non-stop commuter trains, and all kinds of freight trains. Next, we have Harry, the LMS Princess Coronation class engine. He loves to pull heavy trains across the line. Whenever our controller have a freight train duties for us to do, Harry won't hesitate to get himself into freight works, but our controller already decided to choose Harry for most of the freight works, leaving us mostly on passenger duties. So yeah, Harry mainly pulls all kinds of freight trains, sometimes pulling non-stop commuter trains, rarely pulls the express if us big engine needs an extra hand for the express. He also pulls a fish train that runs only in midnight. And we will explain that fish train in future episodes as well. Please stay tuned for that. Then we have Gru, the LNER A4 class engine. Which I believe you guys should know about the A4s, I presume. But Gru is a special A4. His acceleration is slower than his brothers and sisters. After Gru was in service for a few weeks, he was sent to scrap because of the broken acceleration he had. But after a few months, our old controller saved him from scrap and became one of the big engines to replace the old engines back in the old days. He loves to pull trains all day apart from freight trains. But when our controller ordered it Guru to do freight duties, I think you guys might get the image. This is ridiculous! He mainly pulls the express and non-stop commuter trains, sometimes pull freight trains and rarely pulls the Rosewood Flyer. Next, we have our first diesel engine on our railway, and that is Eric the Class 47 diesel engine. Eric's full speed is around 122 miles per hour. He is probably the fastest engine on our railway, even though he always shows off of how fast he can go and should take over this railway with diesels. But right now, he thinks that both diesel and steam engines are good for a railway to have. He mainly pulls express, sometimes pulls the Rosewood Flyer, sometimes he pulls freight trains and rarely pulls non-stop commuter trains. Next, we have David, the Class 50 diesel engine. He was some of the first few Class 50 was created. But back when he was on another railway, he had a lot of problems and the railway he was on didn't have the technology to fix him up. So David was sent to scrap after a few months of service. Then after a few months, our new controller saved David and after he is on our railway, David was fixed up in no time. Also, it is not for David, Eric won't be such a jerk right now. 
Oh, did I mention that Eric and David are friends? If David isn't here, we would all just hate Eric forever until now. Anyways, David mainly pulls the non-stop commuter trains and all kinds of freight trains and rarely pulls express and sometimes local trains. Lastly, we have the GWR Pioneer Duos. They are Michael and Josh. They both are GWR 57XX Pioneer Tank Engines. Originally, our controller wanted the duos to pull local trains and some small goods trains, but their performance on pulling local trains... Well, it was kind of bad. But they can still pull local trains, but only between Lothar Station and Armando Station with only a free car local train. But they rarely pulls them since us speaker engines do most of the work. So the controller decided to put them on mainly on shunting duties. Michael, number 6931, now works at the coach yard in Lowfell. And yes, we do always get our coaches from there or Michael will help to fetch our coaches to us at the station. But Josh, number 6932, works in a goods yard near Applesway. The coach yard was actually being built and it wasn't there even back when Rosewood Valley Railway was open from the very start. The freight yard originally was a limber yard, but the yard eventually got closed down and at that time, aka by the time we had already replaced the old engines, we needed a yard desperately to put our freight cars in. Since the old yard was way far at near Roseworth Station and because it's the distance between Lowfell and Roseworth is a long way, meaning we need to double our coal and water amount. And it also means that we are losing money double the amount. Then our new controller remembered the unused limber yard in Apple's Way and decided to use that limber yard to be a freight yard. Since Apple's Way is just a few miles out of Lowfell, so the old yard was removed and now the unused limber yard is now a goods yard for us to put freight cars in. Also, it's a pain for us tender engines. Even though tender engines can shunt, the yard has only one exit and when we shunt, we have to use the station itself. And that is where Josh comes in. Since Josh is one of the smallest engines in our fleet, he can move around cars easily and that makes our job easier as well. So Michael and Josh are really important to our railway. Without them, we won't have today's Roseworth Valley Railway. And not apart from them or us, I think you guys should heard the word controller a lot of times, right? And that controller who makes today's Roseworth is Mr. Andrew, the controller of Roseworth Valley Railway. If it's not for him, most of our engines here now won't be even here anymore. Well, we also can't forget our old controller as well. But we will talk about that in our future stories. Okay, yeah, uh, you know what, Wallace? I think we had talked it enough today. We need to get to work before we even use them all our water because we talked a lot. He is not wrong, Wallace. Uh, oh, oh, uh, um, uh. Oh, Mr. Andrew. Wallace, your express train will depart in only a few minutes. Michael had already sent your coaches for you and the train is now waiting for you at the platform. Alright, sir. I will be going now. Well, see you tonight then, Benny. Bye, Wallace. Man, what a day I had. Well, at least you won't get your wheels stop spinning, right, chap? Yup, definitely agree, driver. Alright, let's go.
Hi guys, thank you for watching episode 1 of Railway Stories of Rosworth. Click the left coach to see a video that I recommended you, and click the right coach to see the last episode. And thank you for watching, and have a nice day.